my pastor in his absence and first lady I'm glad I know he's not coming because I've been looking at the door all morning waiting for him to come in and um, my heart is wherever he is and my prayers are wherever he is and I'm really grateful uh, to be here this morning I'm grateful to be anywhere you know the enemy's plan was that drugs and alcohol would have killed me off a long time ago and because God had a different plan I'm free you know, I don't have to rip and run the streets all hours of the night. I don't have to go in the clubs and in the bars, hoping somebody buy me a drink, hoping somebody give me some money so I can go get some more dope. And I haven't had to live like that for a long time. Um, and, and I know that it was not the enemy's plan that I would land here. You know, it was God's plan all my life. God carried me through all that darkness and through all that trouble and that grief and that turmoil and that sorrow and that anguish he kept his arms around me he kept his breath over me so that when it was time for me to surrender my life when it was time for me to get on my knees and say please god don't let me die like this please uh, that was the surrender he was waiting for in my spirit so that he could step in and uh, deliver me to a treatment program and to 12-step meetings and back to church and, you know, allowed me to learn how to pray for myself. My children who were thoroughly confused and lost with what was going on with me uh, quickly became my biggest fans, quickly became, um, I had a lot of guilt because of the things that I did and the kind of suffering I saw in their eyes. But, I mean, in no time, God had those children praising me like nothing had ever happened. And today, they are still my biggest fans. You know, today, they are proud to be my children. They are proud of me as their mother. Right. You know, they're grateful that God, they tell me all the time, you know, Mama, I'm so grateful God gave you to me. You know, where would I be if he hadn't given me to you? And, um, you know, that's the kind of things that God can do with us when we surrender. Like, it's true. The Bible says everything, 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 not half the things, not a fourth of the things, not an eighth of the things, every single thing the enemy planned for my destruction, God used for my reconstruction. You know, God used to bring me to a place that I didn't know existed. Um, you know, I've just been on the, usually like a month before my birthday, you know, my sobriety birthday, you know, I, I have flashbacks of things that happen, and, you know, I get a little off-centered, I get a little, you know, out of sorts, but this year, a month before my birthday, I woke up feeling like a soldier. I woke up patting myself on the back. I woke up saying, man, for 24 years, I have not had to hate myself so bad. I had to just ingest drugs or alcohol in my system. And for 24 years, I have showed up. I paid attention. I took the cotton out of my ears and I put it in my mouth. And I prayed to God to use me. I surrendered myself to the, I surrendered myself to the Lord repeatedly. I asked the Holy Ghost to lead and guide me repeatedly. Sometimes 20, 30 times a day. Because Satan really wants me back. Satan wants me more than any old boyfriend or any old husband I had wants me. He wants me so bad, he whispers in my ear, you know you got some money? And nobody will know. He wants me so bad, he tells me things like, you know, you really a fake and a fraud, and everybody know it, and at some point you're going to get found out. You know, that's the kind of stuff he says to me repeatedly. But the gift that I've received today through the recovery process, through my church home, through the love of my pastor, my first lady, my all of you guys, my family, the gift today is I get to go, bam, wrong comment. I get to go, hold it. You know, whatever used to work doesn't work anymore. I finally have grown up enough spiritually, emotionally, psychologically um, that what, what used to work does not work anymore. 
You know, there are times when he speaks, and I don't even have to comment. I can, I don't even have to acknowledge it. I can, my day is already, every.